Wednesday, August 30th. I know that because it's my birthday tomorrow. And you can probably tell from the title of this video that I'm finally getting around to doing like a day in the life, full day of eating while I'm working. So, you guys saw my weight this morning. <laughs> Hasn't moved in a little bit. I'm now dressed and ready to go to work. I'm lucky because while I work, we get to dress super casual. Um, and I'm about to make breakfast, I guess because this is a full day of eating, I'll tell you guys, the macros that I'm hitting are 530 carb, 150 protein, 170 fat. So I'll be hitting those. I'll put the macros for each meal across the screen. And just so you guys know, right now it's like 645 and I'm about to make my breakfast that I eat when I get to work. And I work 8 to 5. I have an hour for lunch, so I'll show you guys that. Um, then I go to the gym and all that stuff after. But you guys will kind of see as I go through my day. Having just um, oats, cream of rice. Same thing I've eaten in like the last probably like 15 full days of eating. But we're putting it in a Tupperware. Okay, that's that. Worst intro ever. Enjoy the vlog. Sometimes I've been thinking, I'm thinking, I want to make a way in my memories. Sometimes I've been thinking, I'm dreaming, I want to get a baby besides memories. Cause I still need you. Okay, so morning ritual is I take two of these probiotics and then I take a shot of apple cider vinegar and I make myself drink this whole glass of water before I leave the house. Taste the probiotics with apple cider vinegar. Cheese up some vinegar with water. Okay, so that is breakfast. Like I said, it's literally the same thing I have been eating like every day for the past, I don't know. Like I was eating this even when I was cutting, just in much lesser quantities. But this is 70 grams of cream of rice, 40 grams of oats, and so I have two whole eggs, 100 grams of strawberries, and then two tablespoons of almond butter. Then I mix five grams of coconut oil in the actual oatmeal. It's a really good taste and I need the extra fat. So that's that with the macros across the screen. Um, and I just bring this and eat it at my desk at work. And then I have my lunch that I prepped last night. But yeah, that's that. So, I bring these, have these for lunch too, and I'm gonna chug my water and then we're off to work. You can't even see it, but like, there's a hill back there and right over that hill's the ocean. And so it's always like super cloudy and like misty and stuff like this in the morning. And then it clears up around like 9.30 or so. And it's like, it's been so freaking hot, but I'm just not used to this. Like I walk outside and I'm like, oh, so gloomy and sad. And I'm like, oh wait, no. And now I kind of like it. It's like refreshing. Um, but I always bring this shaker and right now it's just full of water and I just kind of like keep it at my desk and sip out of it all day. Got my bag, another bag with my meals in my bag and haven't had coffee yet. I always, always, always stop at Starbucks. So that's where we're going now. Okay, so my new thing has been mobile ordering my Starbucks. It's like the most convenient thing ever. I live like 10 minutes away. So I send my order in, which is just a blonde roast with Today I got an extra shot of espresso, two bumps of sugar-free vanilla, a splash of almond milk. I know I said that in my last video, but... And then I literally just hit send, 
drive here. I live like 10 minutes away and it's ready when I get here and I have coffee waiting for me that I just bring into the office and drink with my breakfast and it's fantastic. So it's like 7.45 right now, but we're at work at 8. The Starbucks is like five minutes away from work. So perfect timing. It's kind of like how I like to do it in the morning. Some mornings are more rushed than others, obviously. But today, we're making good time. I'm gonna go to work, and I'll catch up with you guys on my lunch break. Okay, fam, it is one o'clock. It's a really busy morning at work. It's gonna be a really busy day at work. But, I'm on my lunch break. Today, I'm just gonna be really, really fast, because like I said, I have a ton of work to do. Uh, my boss, resigned last Friday, so <laughs> I got promoted real quick, but I mean, it's cool, it's cool. Working hard, making money, you know? So in here, I just have jasmine rice, sweet potato, 85-15 ground beef, spinach, olive oil, and then these cashews. Put the macros across the screen. But during my lunch, I honestly, some days I have to stay in the office and work, but I like to just like get out and like I said, either run errands and get stuff I need to do done or just like get out for, what is my lunch, an hour? So it'll be like a half hour, but it's cool. Um, and I just catch up on like personal emails, social media stuff, stuff on my phone, make phone calls, whatever. Nothing super exciting, but I am going to eat this and then head over to you guys in bed. Hey fam, we're home from work and it is 5.30. The first thing I did is change. I don't know what got into me, like since when has Lexi put on like neon spandex? I don't know, but something was just calling me to it. I don't know. but. I'm going to make a pre-workout meal really fast, and then we're going to head to the gym. So, first food, then I'll show you when it's ready, then we'll go lift things. I feel like you'd think, because I haven't done a full day of eating in like months and months, my meals have changed, but like, they haven't. So, I have four caramel rice cakes with banana and cashew butter, which is like my new obsession slash favorite nut butter. I've gone through two jars in two weeks of this. It's so good. Um, I think I showed it in my grocery haul, but yeah, I'm obsessed. Um, and then, yeah, cinnamon and banana on those. And then I have, I think, what is it? 70 grams? 70 grams of Honey Nut checks mixed with cinnamon roll, protein, and cashew milk. So. I'll put the macros for that across the screen, and that's that. Oh, also just wanted to say, if you eat, like, normal rice cakes, like plain ones, and you have the macros to fit, like, caramel ones, I think the regular rice cakes are, like, 7 carbs, and these are, like, 12, and they taste a million times better. So, if you have the macros you want to get, caramel or chocolate are my two favorites because otherwise you're just missing out and being super lame. Like I can't even palate plain rice cakes anymore. Not a thing. Caramel all day every day. Okay, enough about my ramble about rice cakes. I'm going to eat this and catch up on some client emails and stuff. And then we'll hit the gym. So guys, I just finished eating, obviously. But my new thing, after my pre-workout meal, pre-workout pickles. My reasoning. If you guys have been an OG subscriber to my channel, remember Nick and I's thing has been taking salt straight to the face before you lift. And the reason for that is that one way to get like a really good pump is to manipulate your sodium levels. So all you people are like scared to eat sodium and I'm here like, give me all the sodium. But then I was thinking, What's like one of the things filled with the most sodium? Pickles. And I freaking love pickles. So, <laughs> I've been eating just like two of these before my workout. And then I saw my girl Grace on Instagram do it and I was like, okay, 
there's a method to my madness. Like, this is a real thing. Literally, like, the highlight of my day. And no, I don't track these. There's two carbs. Fuck that. Okay. I have two. Okay. Got my pre-workout. Now we're gonna go hit some shoulders. Okay fam, so workout is complete. I had chest and shoulders today and it was really good. And now it is like, I was in there for like an hour. It's like 8.15 right now. I realized I have to stop at the grocery store just to get eggs because I'm out of eggs and I literally eat like three or four eggs a day. So I'm gonna stop there on my way home. Then I have two more meals left that obviously I'll show you guys because it's a full day of eating. And I also just wanna like update you guys on my bulk and stuff. So that's what we have left for the night. That's it. See you guys when I get home. <laughs> on a whole nother level I like can't even fit it in the frame <laughs> whatever okay it's like 9 20 right now it's like very normal for me to be eating dinner at this time now sadly but you guys saw dinner so what's in here is 135 grams of jasmine rice and that's 135 grams dry I just cook it in that rice cooker over there um, and then I have three ounces of salmon a serving of broccoli. I had five grams of ghee butter that I cooked everything in. And then 50 grams of avocado. You guys saw that yolk porn. And then I put this barbecue sauce on top, which is delicious. Store brand. Um, normal barbecue sauce. And then I seasoned it with everything but the bagel seasoning and this chili lime seasoning. Both are from Trader Joe's and it's delicious. And then I'm also going to put on top, where is it? Green dragon sauce. So, put the macros to this across the screen and I'm going to start editing this vlog now so it doesn't take me a year to get it up because if you guys haven't noticed, time isn't something that I have a lot of, so. We're gonna crank out as much editing as we can in a little bit, and then I'll catch up with you guys in a sec. So oh, it is 10.15 right now. I've just been editing the vlog. I finished dinner. I poured myself a glass of wine, which I track as 15 fat. Um, it's like 120 calories for five ounces, so I track it as either 30 carbs or 15 fat or like a mix of both. So today, 15 fat. Honestly, it's like liquid calories and it makes it a lot easier for me to hit my fat macros. And it, I noticed that it helps with my digestion actually a little bit. I'm not saying like, oh, like wine is health. I'm not saying that at all, but like um, when you are in such a caloric surplus, like my body is getting plenty of carbs and fat and protein. Um, it's getting plenty of nutrients. So I feel like using 15 out of 170 grams of fat towards wine really isn't that bad. Um, when my calories are lower, obviously I'm not gonna use nutrients that my body could be utilizing in the form of alcohol every single night. Um, but for now, a glass of wine seriously helps me. So yeah, that's that. But I also realized I didn't give you guys um, any sort of update, which I, I just like have no time to sit down and do that all day, obviously. But I'm gonna keep it brief because as I'm editing this vlog, I know it's very long. So you guys saw my weight this morning, and honestly, I've been sitting at this weight for 
a while, like four or five weeks, I don't even know. But a long time, I think the last time I recorded was when my macros got increased to these macros and essentially I haven't gained weight. Um, it went up a couple pounds and then it just came back down uh, the last couple weeks and I've just kind of been sitting here, which honestly is frustrating. I know I get a lot of people who are like, oh, it's so cool that like you can eat so much and not gain weight. And like, yeah, to some extent, it's nice to have a fast metabolism. Um, but on the other hand, you have to look at it from the perspective of if you're not gaining weight, you're not adding muscle. And like, yes, on a bulk, you're gonna gain muscle and fat. But if you're not gaining weight, you're not making progress. So essentially, I'm eating all this food, which I hope you guys can grasp. It's not necessarily easy. And like, I do this every single day. Um, and not making progress. So I'm kind of frustrated. And we're kind of at a point where it's like a crossroads. This is where, this is the exact same weight where we went on my last mini cut because my body wasn't responding on my last bulk. And I really do think, and Nick thinks that like 120 to 125 is kind of like my set point. Like it's like where my body wants to be. And like, yes, my physique is totally different than it was on my last bulk. Um, but right now the decision is do we push really hard, which is what you have to do to get over that hump of a set point, and like increase by a lot of macros, which would be, I can't even imagine that much food, or do we do um, another mini cut? So this week, because it's like my birthday tomorrow and I'm celebrating all weekend, I'm just sticking to these macros and then we're kind of gonna decide next week if we push really hard and like risk my digestion shutting down or whatever, um, or if we pull back, it wouldn't be a full mini cut like last time, but just pull back, slow down my metabolism a little bit, um, re-regulate everything, get my digestion back to normal because I have been having some trouble with digestion, which I guess is like the one other thing I'd want to talk about. I'll like wake up with food still in my stomach. Like when I wake up, I still am like definitely have food in my stomach, which is a weird feeling. Um, and then like the whole waking up with food, like that's just that my body's not like digesting it. Um, well, fast. But the thought is to stay where I'm at this week, keep my metabolism up versus like starting a cut this week and then being like, oh shit on my birthday when I like go ham, like that wouldn't be good. Um, and just to like see if my body just needed a little bit more time to adapt um, so that we could push more. But I'll keep you guys up to date on what happens next week. I'm honestly totally fine either way. Like I said, it's not gonna be a crazy mini cut. We're not looking to um, like lose a ton of weight or anything like that. I think it would just be a few weeks of pulling back slightly or we'll push really freaking hard. But either way, that's one thing that's really nice. I'm not planning on starting prep until February-ish at the earliest. Um, so we have plenty of time and I've made a lot of physical progress. This bulk, I'm like really, really happy with the progress that I've made. So that's good, but in terms of macros, it's either going up or it's going down after my birthday. So we're celebrating my birthday really hard. <laughs> okay fam, so it is officially 10.59 and I showered, hence my ratchetness. And it is time for the last meal of the night. You guys have seen this so, so, so many times, but I'll show you how to make it anyways. So, step one. You mix all of these things in there. And that's what it looks like. So delicious. So. I just took 235 grams of this 2% Greek yogurt. You could use fat free if you wanted to, but I need the fat. Whole milk yogurt like grosses me out though. It's like too thick. So I use 2% and then you just mix in a little bit of pudding mix. I like the cheesecake one, but they were out. So I have chocolate, which is so delicious. And then a little bit of stevia. And then this is totally optional, but again, my fat macros are really high. So I add a serving of this MCT oil. Um, which is just eight fat and two carbs. And what is this medium chain triglycerides? I just like it because they taste like coconut. So 
it like makes you it tastes like coconut but medium to triglycerides do have a lot of health benefits um they're actually really really easy for your body to digest which is one reason i like them um they help with cognitive cognitive health hormonal health digestion like i said um and just like overall sustained energy so i take them because health honestly because they're delicious but yeah that is what is in here and then y'all know i have to have toppings so tonight we're doing 30 grams of these a serving of these a serving of these five servings of this and one and a half tablespoons of almond butter and there you have it before i cover it in whipped cream five servings goes a really long way but it's delicious and the extra creamy is way better than fat free ready whip it's one carb and one fat per serving so that's that and now we're done for the day also if you're one of those people who like literally weighs out your food and doesn't just like nibble randomly on stuff like if you're that person who like pours your cereal into the bowl and doesn't nibble i don't know how you do it live a little it's not that serious guys okay so that's gonna wrap up this vlog i hope you guys enjoyed it um as you can tell my life is super super busy which is why i haven't vlog much it's hard for me to like have, find time to sit down and do a video starting the job and stuff was a lot but it is doable um and and i really like sharing my life with you guys and i think it is helpful i know a lot of like fitness youtubers and stuff like their whole life is fitness like they either do social media or like personal training or whatever and like obviously that's not my life at all and i know it's not a lot of your guys lives either so if i could help any of you or provide insight into like how i do things or whatever that's what i want to do um yeah so comment below and let me know what you want to see it can be fitness related not fitness related sit down videos vlogs whatever i do want to do a q a soon so stay tuned for that because i might post something on instagram in the next few days and yeah Obviously not much of my food has changed. I eat pretty much the same thing no matter what my macros are. It's just like the amounts of the foods I eat changes my macros change if that makes sense. But that's that. Um, this is my life and I hope you guys liked it. Comment, share, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next one, which will be soon.